Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Today, I want to talk to you about something else. Um, well, you know, I'm backlit like I'm one of the gods. Um, but anyway, today I want to talk to you about something else. I want to talk to you about a little thing called uh, Execution Plan Compare. Uh, it's new in uh, Visual Studio uh, uh, 17. Uh, it used to be called 2017. Um, but it, or is it in 2016? Well, it's in 2016. Anyway, it's new ish you definitely want to get in on it what it can do is is you can open up you know one execution plan cool save it out as a file awesome take that file open it up compare the two plans let me show you how it works all right to see this in action let's um execute a store procedure we'll um pass in the value for london all right so here's the store proc. We'll execute this and we get back some results and that's awesome. But what we really need is an execution plan. Let's turn that on. Let's re-execute this thing. All right. So we get an execution plan and that's great. We're going to do a save as. We're going to save that execution plan and we'll call it um, my new plan and we'll hit save. And let's go back here and let's um, let's uh, There we go. We're going to free the procedure cache um, by removing just the one um, execution plan like this. There we go. And then we'll pass in a different value here. Oops. We'll pass in a different value here. And you'll see we get a completely different execution plan. Let's compare the plans. If I right click and down here in the menu, you can see right there it says compare show plan. We'll compare show plan. We'll get my new plan. And now it opens the two plans up. Now we've got plan analysis and all kinds of fun stuff there. Um, it shows that we, you know, if we have multi-statement, we can do that. And we've got the whole scenarios thing all set up. But I'm going to disable that because that's just that's a whole different discussion for another day. Here's where things are fun. So what we've got is um, basically the same operators are highlighted, right? You can see this is an index scan non-clustered against the um, one table and an index scan non-clustered against the same table in these two different plans. So obviously these things are similar and then these things are different. There's a nested loops versus a merge. Well, of course, all, that all makes sense. Let's take a look at the properties. I'll pin this in place just so it stays there. And now you can see that uh, we'll pick the select operator. Now you notice it goes to the select operator in both plans, so we're comparing like to like at all times. And then it shows differences, where the differences are, where the similarities are. The compile time is exactly the same between the two, for example. Optimization level is exactly the same between the two, for example. Um, but differences are obviously the query plan hash is completely different while the query hash is the same. So it's a whole series of different things that we can look at and see differences and similarities from plan to plan. Let's take a look just at the one plan, um, the one objects that are the same or, or at least very, very similar as identified. And they are extremely similar. The only difference is, is the actual number of rows versus you know the other actual number of rows. Um, and the estimated operator costs are obviously a little bit different. Um, the node IDs are also different, but other than that, you'll notice almost everything's exactly the same. Um, the cardinality, um, all the rest of that information. So um, that's how this, plan this works, and hopefully you can put it to work and um, get some use out of it. So now if you do this, what do you get out of it, right? I mean, obviously you can see the comparisons and all that fun stuff, but why would you be doing this kind of thing? Well, I mean, one reason is, you know, obviously bad parameter sniffing. If you're hitting that situation where, you know, things are going wrong, you want to be able to look into it and see what's going on. You want to be able to compare the properties. You want to be able to, you know, very quickly see what differences are. Um, also, you can see where similarities are, what things look the same. I mean, as you saw in the demo, um, it's all this stuff combined. Um, arrives at a place that's more makes the plans more useful because because you know just like when you're comparing performance and you want to compare a before and after on performance you're gonna be able to compare a before and after on execution plans 
it's a great additional piece of, uh, of, of functionality. So um, go and uh, follow the link down below here in the um, um, things, and you can download um, Management Studio 17, um, and that's an independent standalone thing. It works with 2012 and up, and you can use that to compare execution plans one to another. Thanks a lot. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.